Yo, what's good kings and queens? It's your boy Don and I'm back for another reaction video today. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and hit all so you know every time I post you heard. If you're not new to the channel, you already know what to do. Go down below, hit that like button, put your social media, you already know if you get pinned, you win, you heard. I thank y'all for popping out to the video, showing love. I know that my videos are very different. Um, you know, that's my goal. I want to make sure that y'all yeah, at least learn something, you know, feel happy, you know, feel better at the end of the day, you are, learn something, smile, stay joyful, be positive, you are, that's what it's about. Yeah, this video is a little different. Today I'm going to be reacting to the 10 most expensive parties ever thrown. Um, you know, everybody has been to a party before, whether it was small, big, kickback, uh, hanging out with boys, friends, bar, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has had that experience, even if it's with your family. Um, there's different types of parties, and a lot of times you get different invites. None of these parties I have been invited to. If you have been invited, congratulations. Hopefully they went well and you enjoyed your time. Um, I'm sure these parties are going to be very expensive. So let's see what kind of parties we may be missing out on, you heard. This might give us some inspiration to throw our own little party gear. Right. Let's get to it. Let's see what they talk about you. Right. Amazing party. Warning, these multi-million dollar celebrations will give you severe... Severe what? Severe what? Hey, yo, in the mission, please go down below. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. It's all free, y'all. Uh, that's how I get rid of these intermissions as well, you heard. So we can just FOMO. enjoy the video. When the daughter of Beyonce and Jay-Z was born, it was basically national news. So it should come as absolutely no surprise that Blue Ivy's first birthday was a private party of epic proportions. In 2013, they dropped a whopping $200,000 on the birthday celebration. The family, worth collectively $1.4 billion, shelled out $2,000 on the cake, $95,000 on pink and white roses, and loot bags worth $30,000. Most impressively, Blue Ivy herself got an amazing amazing birthday present that puts all others to shame. Her parents gifted her a diamond encrusted Barbie that was worth $80,000. There's no telling how much the dream house costs. Blue Ivy wasn't the only one who got fancy toys though. Apparently her little baby buddies also received $30,000 worth of costumes, jewelry, and toys. Nice. Apparently they wanted this birthday to set the tone for the rest of her life. Yeah. With parents like hers, they may have set the bar a little low. I mean, just look at Blue Ivy's seventh birthday party. What kind of seven-year-old wants a rose gold themed birthday bash? Her. Well, the princess of pop, Blue Ivy, that's who. And here I thought my childhood birthday parties at the McDonald's yeah, Play Place were cool. Royal yeah. weddings aren't only Kinda expected to be grand birthday, celebrations, yeah, but they are also key. international news. People from all over the world will be watching and judging every aspect of it for decades to come. So yeah, no pressure. The royal wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton outdid the legendary wedding of Charles and Diana, which cost $6.4 million. The newest wedding of a man who would be king drew a price tag of $70 million. The ceremony was held at Westminster Abbey and was as fairy tale as fairy tale gets. Even the flowers cost 800 grand. Royals from all over the world came to see the two tie the knot, along with foreign dignitaries and friends of the family. Celebrity guests included the likes of David and Victoria Beckham, Sir Elton John, Richard Branson, and Guy Ritchie. A great deal of the cost of this wedding, a rumored 32 million, was just security though. Then when Prince Harry got married a few years later, they only dropped 42 million on the affair. No wonder the two left the royal family behind. The opening of the Atlantis Hotel in Dubai Holy. may have been the first party someone could see from outer space. It was a three-day party for 2,000 guests from all over the world. It was also one of the most expensive celebrations ever thrown with a staggering $31 million price tag. It began with an enormous fireworks display that lit up the night sky. This wasn't just any normal display though, this was one that covered the size of two football fields. Then the lost city of Atlantis rose from the ground followed by an illumination display introduced by Priyanka Chopra herself. The, boys, the guests yeah. were then treated to a private concert, signature dishes prepared by Atlantis multi-Michelin starred chefs, and a royal afterglow after party. After the first day's party, the guests enjoyed the resort's many activities. 
that includes the Dolphin Bay Aqua Venture Water Park, the spa, and an exclusive cocktail party. Let me know if y'all went to this bar. With a culinary tour of the resort's restaurants. Of course, there was also an after-after party at the resort's private nightclub, Sanctuary. These guests included the likes of Robert De Niro, Lindsay Lohan, Mary-Kate Olsen, Charlie Theron, Michael Jordan, and the Dubai Royal Family. I must have missed my invite in the mail. Mine too. One of the most famous celebrity celebrations every year is the Oscars. Met Gala. Oh, Met Tickets Gala. are $35,000 a piece, and tables can go from $200,000 to 300000 That means this celebration could end up pulling as much as $15 million. The event is held at New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art every single year. 2021 celebration included the likes of Timothy Chalamet, Billie Eilish, Billy Porter, and so many more. This doesn't even include how much money was dropped on the designer looks, which can shoot up to the hundreds of thousands, if not more. Throw in even more for jewelry, then you gotta factor in the 10 nicest New York chefs tasked to create a plant-based menu, and that makes this celebration one of the most lavish, expensive parties every single year. That's when it isn't being robbed by Sandra Bullock and her friends, too. The daughter of a president getting married is about as close to a royal wedding as Americans can get. Well, unless Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson ever get married. Chelsea Clinton's mother recently shared a ton of pictures on Instagram to highlight the shindig's 10th anniversary. Cost was no concern for this $5 million wedding. It had air-conditioned tents, an $11,000 nine-tier cake, and flowers that reportedly cost forty-five grand. Chelsea Clinton herself also wore a Vera Wang dress with a crystal-encrusted belt that cost $25,000. This seems appropriate considering the fact that Wang herself was one of the guests. Nice. The reception dinner consisted of a high-end menu catered by the illustrious St. Regis Hotel in New York City. The high-profile guest list includes the likes of President Obama, Barbara Streisand, Steven Spielberg, and Oprah. Apparently, there were several big-time celebrities that didn't make the cut. There was a rule that if Chelsea didn't know them, they didn't get an invite. That makes sense. I Yo, if y'all enjoyed the video so far, go down below, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. That's also how we get rid of these intermissions. As y'all can see, my baby back there, she thinks she running stuff. Look at her. Mama, trouble, y'all. Hit the like button for this girl. I'm not, I'm shooting the video right now. She want me to stop the video. Say what up, look, y'all see her? Come here, come here. All right, let's get back, y'all. She want me to hurry up. So I'm not going to rush. I'm going to enjoy my time with y'all. She mad. She mad. All like a trial work. Let's get back though. Hit that like button. Let me know what y'all think about the video so far, y'all. The great Gatsby. The superstar singer apparently threw a Gatsby-inspired house party that was big on the decadence and light on the class. The party apparently featured paid exotic dancers, an open bar, and a giant beer pong competition that apparently got pretty heated. The party was a surefire rager that caused the police to be called not once, not twice, but three times you need at least before two it of those in the your night. Life. It included Snoop Dogg and apparently a hundred other guests. The party was rumored to cost over a mil, but it had a bit of financial insurance. Apparently, every single guest had to sign an extensive non-disclosure agreement yep. that prevented them from tweeting, texting, or Facebooking anything. Penalties for disobeying? Three million dollars. That must have been one intense game of beer pong. Dang. Look, turning 50 isn't easy for anyone. There's a lot of pressure on you to make the day a big deal. I imagine the pressure is infinitely greater when you're the Sultan of Brunei. When he hit the big 5-0 in 1996, he celebrated in as lavish a style as humanly possible. Over the two weeks of celebrating, he reportedly spent upwards of $27.2 million. Looking at all the things he got up to, I think that 27.2 might be a concern conservative estimate. For instance, he had his own private concert from Michael Jackson. This alone ran the Sultan $17 million. Dang. That wasn't the only celebrity he celebrated with, though. He also flew in Prince Charles for a private polo match. I hope that Charles at least let the man win for his B-Day, mm -hmm. but I kind of doubt it. Finally, he held a huge celebration for 60,000 people in a private stadium built especially for the event. 3,000 of those guests were then invited to a special dinner where they all left with their own gold medal. Building a private stadium alone costs millions of dollars. Each gold medal that they make for the Olympics costs over $800. So yeah, I think that $27 million estimate was a little low. 
Same. There are few celebrations that carry the expectations go to of one a bat mitzvah. It's a huge milestone for anyone celebrating one, but when you're the daughter of a notorious businessman like David H. Brooks, it's gotta be huge. Well, I don't know if they get much bigger than this $10 million celebration. He got some of the biggest names in the music industry to perform for his little girl. Smith. This included the likes of Aerosmith, 50 Cent, Stevie Nicks, Tom Petty, and the Eagles. They even apparently created special lyrics just for her party. Fine. Not only that, but she got to go on stage with the performers, which had to be the peak of her young life. Yeah. Each of these performers charged $500,000 to a mill for the party, along with the cost of two floors of the rainbow room and swag bags worth $1,000 each. Nice. Of course, this party was also a big tip-off that her father was doing some shady business deals. That eventually put him in prison for insider trading. Dang. It looks like the party was fun, at least. When you right. think of high-profile celebrities who throw elegant parties, I'm sure Simon Cowell is not the name that pops to mind. Okay. Surprisingly enough, Cowell is known for this kind of thing. The infamous reality competition villain from The X Factor, American Idol, and America's Got Talent threw himself a party even he couldn't judge. He decided to spend $1.5 million of his $600 million on his 50th birthday celebration. Fine. For a guy who's made such a reputation for being nasty to pretty much everyone, he made sure his guests were treated with luxury service. He paid for all 400 of them to get picked up by their own limos. Then they were driven to a classy mansion in Hertfordshire's Rotham Park. Once they arrived, they were treated to a five-star meal, which included the likes of lobster martinis. Mm. Now, why can't he have a reality show where he acts like that? When you're a billionaire, apparently it's not enough to just have a couple of friends over to celebrate your birthday. I'm you sure this was explained is. to David Bonderman once he passed the $3 billion mark. Bonderman apparently dropped $7 million on a party that was basically a Las Vegas music festival. In 2002, for his 60th, he invited the likes of the Rolling Stones and John Mellencamp. He even went so far as to stage the party at the legendary venue The Joint at Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. If that wasn't big enough to be included on this list already, apparently he also had a famous comedian perform acts in between musical performances. Nice. Not any comedian, mind you, but the man himself, Robin Williams. Oh my God. Now that I know a royal wedding will spend an average of $1.1 million on flowers alone. Yo, if y'all enjoyed this video, man, let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part you heard. Let me know if I should react to something similar or different than this. Y'all already know I got y'all. If... Y'all have been to any of these parties, let me know. Also, more little story is, if y'all having a party, please send me the invite. I want to pop out, you heard. Other than that, I just shot a video before this, about to go shoot another one right now. I'm going to see y'all there, you heard. Peace. Love. Done.